What is up guys, this is New Crown playing Illune Saga Back to provide more tips and tricks Today concerns this particular building here, everything to do with souls So if you look at the top right, the question mark, it will give you a general idea of what you can do with each one of these options Upgrading, enhancing, forging, awakening and combining I'm sure you guys have an inkling of what to do, but I'm here to bring you guys through the motions, provide my own perspective So when you farm the maps, you're going to drop a lot of souls I tend to sell half of these souls and then choose a two star soul to fuse all the other souls upgrading that two star soul. The reason I do this is once you have a maxed level soul and max enhanced level soul you can do uh, a lot of the stuff such as awakening and combining which I will get into later. So let's get to upgrading. Choose this one, two star soul. Uh, I tend to only increase the levels up to 15 maybe more because uh, any more than that the costs will increase quite a bit so once uh, it's at a decent level I will use these upgrade materials you can farm from the maps and also the dungeons okay it will give more exp and uh, you try to max that soul out so 2 star soul will have a max level of 30 3 star soul will have a max level of 40 so next up is enhancing what is enhancing basically it is increasing the main stats of your soul um, HP and attack each time you get a successful enhancement you will gain 5% bonus increase to your stats okay so each time you get a success it will give a plus one and the next time you succeed in enhancing a soul you will get a plus two three star souls have a max enhanced level of four two star souls have a max enhanced level of three it's always plus one to the number of stars um, each time you fail to enhance, you will get an increase in success rate, as uh, you can see there. And you use certain uh, materials to enhance the uh, soul. So, let's choose a soul that I plan to enhance this one. It is better if you enhance the soul using the same element. It gives a higher success rate. And uh, as you can see, if you <laughs> there are higher grade enhanced materials which is going to give higher success rates so if I use earth there it's going to give 15% if I use the fire element enhance then it's going to give 25% so each time I fail if I fail it will give 3% success rate increase upon failure so it's good to know that you can reach 100% success rate <laughs> um, okay it's enhance and it is a fail so as you can see 3% the next time you enhance you're going to get a higher chance uh, of succeeding and this doesn't go away even if you close the window you, you're still going to get the same success rate for that particular soul alright let's look at other souls that I need to enhance so upgrading is definitely easier than enhancing because upgrading is uh, obviously 100% whereas uh, enhancing depends on RNG well, you have a bit of influence, but uh, unless it's 100%, then it's not going to gonna be uh, successful every time. So, Playful Trickster, I think the higher the grade of the stars of the, of the soul, it's going to be uh, less likely that it's going to succeed because the percentage success rate is so low. So, next up is Forging. Uh, you gain um, upgrade materials from uh, the maps and you can also find them in the dungeons what you can do is fuse some of these together to create a new upgrade material which is uh, of a higher quality gives more exp next up is awakening so when your soul is at max level and also max enhanced level you can awaken it awakening is basically using some ingredients and then giving the soul the same soul an extra star so some souls cannot be awakened some souls can so you need um, the element materials and also this pyramid like structure here called the enhanced powder you can get it from the dungeons so if you click that button there go it will take you to the dungeons uh, I'm going to show you guys where the dungeon is from the uh, main screen it is a uh, bottom right above the adventure area sealed cave and then um, there you go uh, this is only available on certain days and you can use five souls 
So you can train five souls. So I've unlocked Simon using 150,000 gold so that I can train him at the same time, which is which is really nice. So he is lagging behind the main units, but he will catch up really soon. All right, so um, you face these minotaurs. Um, the dungeons do recommend certain combat power levels so that you can uh, take care of the dungeons easier. But uh, you can also bring friends along, I believe, and uh, it will be it will be fine. Um, you'll definitely be able to farm the um, low levels for these materials pretty easily. Um, you may meet a wall when you try to farm the uh, awakening materials for three stars to turn into four stars, but uh, it, it will all come in time. So I plan to make all my souls into three stars first. Um, either by awakening or combining. Okay, we'll get into the uh, soul structure later and uh, look at combining. Okay, so took these guys down and got some gold, got the enhanced powder. So let's awaken one of my souls. Okay, uh, let's go back, guys. Okay. Awaken and hmm, I can wake this one, but there's a feature that enables you to protect your cards, prevent them from being accidentally fused or deleted. Okay, so make sure you um, use this feature to the maximum. Uh, okay, let's do this. Awaken Lila's one of Lila's cards gives. Uh, pretty good ability this card so inflicts damage and lowers accuracy by 50% uh, when you awaken a unit the skills will gain uh, additional effects maybe or uh, reduce cooldowns and the main monster the main soul will gain additional stats as well increasing the maximum stats okay all right so next up is uh, trying to upgrade this stuff this soul so Early levels, I use other souls, sacrifice other souls, bring it up to scratch. Okay, then I will use the upgrade materials. Nice, it's at a uh, decent level, decent level to be uh, put, to be bound to my Lila. Alright, so next up is combining. What is combining? It is basically combining two cards of the same grade, same star, with max level and max enhanced level to create a new soul which is one grade higher. This is completely random. So uh, you you should try to uh, use souls which cannot be awakened through the normal means and create a new three star soul, I mean if you choose a two star soul. Uh, but since I have multiple copies of this card, I will use it anyway, regardless if it can be awakened or not. So, two star souls, time to combine them into a three star soul and it's a fire element. Let's see what we get. Fire breath, cool. Ignores enemies' defense. This is going to be really useful when you're tackling, I think, the uh, stages where uh, there are some earth monsters which will, <laughs> will put themselves into a defense state and you cannot deal any damage to them because uh, their defense is so high. This card will be really useful. Okay, so let's upgrading, enhancing, forging, awakening, combining. This is Neo Crown, and I hope you guys um, managed to uh, gain something from this guide. And uh, I will be signing off, guys. Uh, have fun playing Elune Saga.